Today we're going to go over how to re-thread a push-pull gun. A uh, push-pull gun is a gun they put on where they have drive rolls in the machine pushing the wire and then in the gun there's drive rolls that pulls the wire. Now uh, they typically do this for aluminum, uh, something soft where you can't push it over a long distance without it having uh, feedability problems. Um, the ones we have, you can tie it right in a knot and it'll, it'll still run. Uh, we use it, uh, I would say, exclusively for aluminum. Uh, so what we're going to do is go out in the lab and just show you how, if you run out of wire, to feed this thing through. I did a couple of do's and don'ts up here. First thing you want to do is take your contact tip out because it can tend to get caught when it goes into the contact tip. So you take that out. You want your gun straightened right out. Ours, I believe, are 20... I want to say 25 feet is how long the gun is. So you have to straighten that right out so it's not doing a bunch of this, going through curves and, and lines on the floor and stuff. Uh, you want to be able to uh, see the roll as you're, you're feeding it to make sure it doesn't stop moving. Because if it gets hung up and it stops with aluminum, the dry rolls will just peel out on the wire and then you know, you'll have to redo the whole process again. Uh, because the, um, the uh, gun is so long, you want to turn your gas off so that you're not just hissing money into the air of argon there. Um, uh, don't let the wire go. Um, I'll show you a little clip here on what happens when that happens. Um, it just goes all over the place. So you don't want to have that happen. You can ruin an entire roll of wire and, uh, in about two seconds. It doesn't take very long. And then if you let it go, that's what it does. Last, you want to, when you're putting the, the, dry, or the roll on, you want to see if the wire comes off the top or the bottom. And you can just look at the way the, the um, drive rolls line up. They're either going to be up like this or down like this. And that's how you determine whether it goes off the top or bottom. So we'll go out in the lab here and we'll rethread this machine. This is the push pull gun on the uh, Power MIG uh, 350 MP Lincoln Electric welding machine. What I'm going to do is just kind of show you how this thing works before we start rethreading it. What we got going on here is it looks just like a regular big machine on the inside here. These drive rolls right here are pushing it into the liner. That's the push part of the push pull gun. Now I'll show you the drive rolls in the front so you can see the pull part of the push pull gun. This is the gun, and the drive rolls that are in the gun, and these drive rolls, when you push the trigger, pull the wire. That's why it's called a push-pull gun. And I will show you how to re-thread it here. Okay, we ran out of wire. We're going to turn this gas pile off, just to see about letting the gas go into the atmosphere. It's just money that's wasted. Then I'm going to take Gas cover off. Now contact it. Alright, we got a contact tip out, shutting the gas off. Now I just made a nice little loop with the uh, gun cable so it's nice and straight so it doesn't have to do any sharp turns. We'll start feeding the wire here. Alright, we got our lead nice and straight. Now we're going to take this wire, it comes off the top, because that's the angle of the drive rolls. Take it, snip it, make it nice and straight. Go ahead and figure the first set of drive rolls.
this is the view of the gun. We're just waiting for that wire to shoot through. There's actually a second liner in the second part of this gun here, just a little one. It's like eight inches or something. Once it goes into there, we should be pretty safe. There it is. It's just went through. So we're gonna keep her going now. Wires all the way through, contact tip back together. All right, now we're ready to put the contact tip back in. Just give it a nice snug tightening. Gas cup. Last thing you gotta remember, just turn the gas back on, otherwise you can grind it up and get into your wallet just got no shielding. You should be ready to go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to TV Well.